It can be found in your soap, your perfume, and even on your plate. It is the whale. Whales are one of the largest warm-blooded mammals on earth, and people can find many uses for them, but not without some objection. Organizations like Greenpeace fight against whaling. They feel that whaling's main purpose is to overexploit, cheat, and deplete. Greenpeace believers say it is time to end the cycle of greed, which has driven whale populations toward oblivion. These issues raise questions such as, would whales have been safer if they stayed on land with our ancestors? And why would a mammal transition from land to sea? In this podcast, I will tell you the interesting tale of a whale's evolutionary transition. During the evolution of mammals, many species opted for an aquatic way of life. In doing so, the whale lost its legs and all of its vital system became adapted to a marine existence. The reverse of what happened millions of years ago when the first animal crawled out of the sea onto land. Whales evolved to live in water through the process of natural selection. One important feature that allows this is that their nose hole is located on their back. A random mutation produced at least one wheel with a nose located higher on their face than usual. By easing the process of surfacing for air, this mutation helped whales thrive in the sea environment. As a result, the mutated whale has a higher chance of survival and reproduction by passing the trait onto following generations. Each new age moves the hole further and further, and now, after countless generations, whales are born with their noses on their backs. The transition was a very smart move for whales. They can receive better benefits in water than on land. For instance, because of gravity, while living in water, whales do not need to, to provide the kind of support with their bones like mammals do on land. In water, they have evolved in more places for muscles to attach to than for actual support. Now their bones are lightweight and porous, much lighter than the bones of land animals, meaning that if they were on land now, the whales would actually crush itself under its own weight. Another benefit is that their fat, or blubber, insulates them very well in water. On land, however, they would not have the same cooling effect, and the blubber, the blubber would make them overheat. Whales are better su suited to live in cold water, which, would take, which takes the heat out of a body 20 times faster than air does. On land, they would literally cook on the inside because the ther thermal regulatory mechanism, which normally cool the animal, are shut down. Then decomposition would set in, and the whale's body would essentially be a big pressure cooker, which wouldn't be a pretty sight. As for the ancestor of, of the whale, there have been many hypotheses. Charles Darwin even suggested that there was evidence of bears being their ancestors. ancestors. As you can tell, some details remain fuzzy and are under investigation. But thanks to a profusion of immediate fossils, we know for certain that this back-to-the-water evolution did occur and that it was in the best interest of the wills.